Hello everybody, Andy XP from the Grim Killers Ignited. Uh, well, welcome back. Uh, well, not welcome back because I haven't done this one before. But, um, I went ahead on Amazon a little while ago, a couple days ago, and I grabbed a snack crate from around the world. And so, this one, actually, I got the paper. And I want to try something new on the channel too. It'll be a random, but I will still be doing game videos, reaction videos, but every now and then I'm going to do stuff like this. So I went on uh, Amazon and found a snack crate from WorldWideTreats.com. You're stationed in Williamsville, New York, apparently. My state. I'm not, I don't live in Williamsville, but I am in New York. Uh, but so they go around basically and they go around the United States or and also out there I think it's primarily out there, but worldwide apparently and they gather snacks and food and stuff From wherever country they visit multiple countries at once bring the stuff back to the United States Box them up send them to people that buy them and we try it So I am in the United States and the snack box that I got consists of snacks from the United Kingdom, which is the UK, Ireland, and Scotland. Um, so I may or may not like some of these. Uh, so that's a good thing. I never tried them yet. My brother and my uh, couple of family members have tried a few of these. They did not eat all of the stuff. They left me some of whatever they tried. So that's very nice of them. I actually get to try everything that I got. Uh, so we got some, uh, they make nine different snack mixes from all over the world, and you can see them on the website and or Amazon. So they do like French garment snack mixes, Dutch from Holland, you know, all sorts of other things. So I'm going to definitely give them a review of how they did as far as grabbing the stuff. They're probably going to get a five, a five out of star. And I made sure I flipped my camera perfectly so it's as if you're looking at me so nothing goes backwards. The first thing, uh, I guess my brother and sister tried. Sister-in-law tried. Like a vanilla-flavored cream sandwich biscuits. Custard creams. Looks like this. I haven't tried these yet, I promise. Um, these are from... Uh, let me see here. These are definitely not American. I can tell you that. Uh, I want to say, if I can find it, hmm, it's in a language I am not familiar with. Oh, Kerry, Ireland. These are Irish. So I'm actually kind of happy about this. So this is, uh, it smells good. It almost smells. Uh, I don't know if you've, if some of you may or may not have tried like vanilla cookies from the United States, but these smell exactly dead on. Like I mean, they look like this. I don't know if I can get that to focus. Maybe I can't. But they're. Uh, it looks good. Let me try it. Hmm. Okay. Now that's something. That's, that's something, something I can, can enjoy. Wow, that's, that's, that's actually very vanilla. vanilla. That's vanilla strong. And it hits you. It's like a... It's like, like a wafer. You're not a wafer. Uh, maybe. Maybe a wafer. It, it hits very strong. It's a very strong sweet vanilla. And I actually like that. That's something I will definitely try. Some I would sit and watch YouTube. Other YouTubers. While snacking on Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's good. And those were uh, custard creams from uh, Hill. I think Hill or Heel. I don't know. Maybe it's Hill. Okay, so the next one. Uh, my brother had tried, but he left me so much good. This is. Hmm. I don't know where these are from, but they're called Round Roan Trees, Round Trees, Vegan Friendly Fruit Gums. Uh, so they look like this. I don't know where these are from. Maybe they're from Belgium. Possibly. Maybe they're from the UK. I don't know. They might be from the UK. They 
I'm, I'm just, just going to guess. guess. Uh, that's a different smell. That's, that's something different. different. I, haven't, I haven't really smelled that before. It smells very fruity. I'm just going to grab one. Uh, so, so, you, you take, take the chew challenge, apparently. So, you got like uh, orange, mango, plum, something else is what it looks like. I'm grabbing the yellow one. You can give it a try. Oh, that's strong. It looks like a gummy. So, yeah, there are gummies. Very fruity. That's a lemon. No, no, not lemon. Uh, excuse me. Orange. Yeah. It is good though. There is other colors though. I want to try at least one of each one that's in here. So I got a purple and a red. There is an orange one in there I want to try. Yep. I don't see any green. They might have tried all the greens. That's a bummer. But I got an orange, a red, and a purple. So again, they're from round trees. They're called fruit gummies. They're from the UK. Uh, so yeah, again, they look like this. Now, these things are legitimately a lot like actual fruit snacks. I'm sorry about my nails. I gotta, I gotta trim them. God damn. So yeah, they're legitimately shaped as fruits. So here's the orange one. Again, Again very, very strong. Chewy, chewy, that's for sure. They're, they're more rougher. Um, by that, that I mean... They don't... don't they're, uh... They, they, got, got, they feel like they have a harder texture than American, uh, fruit snacks and gummies. Uh, fruit snacks, actually. I wouldn't say gummies because gummies are very, very, very chewy and they're really a soft texture to them. Like you can bite through them easily, less like butter. But they're really, really chewy. Uh, so fruit snack wise, these are a little more harder, a little more rougher. Um, they're a lot more better tasting. These are actually I like better than better than Americans. Better than ours. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Okay, that, that one's red. red. Is there a purple in here? Did I already try purple? There, there is a green. green. I, I freaking knew it. it. Okay. Alright, guys. I know, I'm trying my best here. Hopefully, my reaction is to your approval because I'm just going to be genuine, man. I'm actually enjoying this. So this one, I don't know what this is, but it's a weird shape. It's red. Now, this one. A little bland. A little bland. No, wait a minute. No, it's not. No, it ain't. Ooh. What is that? It, it's good, but then at the same time, it's got a very bizarre taste that I have not that I am not familiar with. I don't know what that taste is, but it's it's good. It is, but for me, it's something about the flavor bothers me. It uh, rubs me in the wrong way, and not that the snack itself is not good. Just for me, and my taste buds, it, it rubs me in the wrong way, but at the same time. It's a flavor that I will find myself going back to. It's like, mmm, that one's, that one's in between. And then I got the green with the last color of them. Uh, that one's very soft. That was like a lime or like a key lime or a kiwi. Very strong flavor, I like that. Oh boy. Mmm. Okay, so my brother and sister have tried these. I haven't yet. These are called Taverners or Taverners, maybe Taverners. 
uh, Great Britain, Great British sweets, licorice, all sorts. Uh, they look like this. I don't know if <laughs> I'm not a licorice guy, uh, really. But as far as licorice that I really like is from uh, um, like black licorice from Australia. I love that stuff. Or salt, salty licorice type of stuff. They're really good. So this says uh, Dublin. So these might be Irish, maybe. Oh boy, there's a bunch of different varieties. Okay, well, let's dig in it. Woo! Very strong smell. I don't like the smell already, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna like, you know, like, I gotta give it a chance, you know, very, very, very tough, as expected. Uh, I will hold them up to the camera, so you guys can see what I'm going for here. Just give me a second. Oh boy, yeah, this is gonna be a blast. A blast from the past. Oh boy, yeah, I'm gonna try each other all of them that I see in here. Each different kind. Okay, so, yeah, again, Tavners. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. If I say it wrong, please forgive me. I'm American. Uh, maybe they're pronounced differently over there than you guys, with you guys. But yeah, these are guests, they're Dub they say Dublin, so I'm guessing they're from Ireland. Um, Cause I know Dublin, Ireland is like the capital, maybe? Oh, over there. All right. Well, this one looks like uh, this one's like this. Again, my damn camera does not like the focus, and there's no way to change that for mine. But it's it looks like so we get chocolates here in America that uh you would find them in movie theaters or in boxes. They're like a chocolate with like very tiny covered with little tiny candy balls um really hard white candy balls you, you'll see them if you come to america and you go to like the uh the movie theaters you'll see them and they're in like a blue box uh this one also is the same way except these are not chocolate i don't think these are licorice literally one is like a blue and a white like a baby blue and a solid white the other one is like a couple versions of what I think is pink. I'm due to your Anopian colorblind, so it's kind of weird for me. It's like a either red or pink. I don't know. One of the two, and it's white as well. So uh, here we go. And holding the white, they're really good looking. Okay. Okay. That. Ooh. I tried the pink one first. Okay, that's good. That's good. I can't explain, I can't really explain the flavor of that, except it's close. That is heavily close to, uh, to Australian uh, licorice, black licorice. Heavy, heavy flavor to it. That tastes just like black licorice from Australia. Literally. This one. Oh, that has a bite to it afterward. This one is the blue one. Um. So the textures, they're not, they're not hard. They're, you can bite right through them like butter, but they really are, they still have a chewy side to them. They, they have a weird smell, like I said, but they taste good so far. I'm actually enjoying this. What is in these anyways? I'm kind of curious. The cat is like, you got snacks. Sugar cane molasses. Desiccated coconut. Okay. Woo! The aftertaste, holy crap. Raspberry, vanilla, orange, aniseed, lemon. Cocoa powder. Paprika extract, what? Beef? Beef? Gelatin? Coconut oil? Beetroot red? Something I've never heard of. Okay. Vegetable juices for coloring. Okay, so 
and beeswax glazing agent all day. So, yeah, yeah you, you guys, guys got, got some heavy stuff over there. Good lord. Now that's, now that's some licorice. I don't like that. This one. This one looks cool. This one is like, uh, it looks like you got a chocolate piece. It looks like a, uh, what I would call a Fig Newton in America. I don't know what that would be for you guys if you have a variety of it. But if you know what a Fig Newton is, in our country, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, this one and the other one look just look just like them, just with like a strawberry. Or whoops. Strawberry. This is my left hand. This is my right. Um, a strawberry and a chocolate, almost. It smells all right. It smells like fig newtons, literally. Hopefully, it's good. I'm trying to buy one. Like I said, I may or may not like some of these. This one's different. Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. This licorice hits. It's like you if you bite into it, you eat it a little bit, it's alright. But once you're done, you get into the end, there is an aftertaste to it that hits hard. And it, this one's good. This one did the, the licorice or texture of it fell apart in my mouth just by biting it. Ah, damn. That's alright. That's good. I can't really explain the taste of this one. These ones. Except the one that I tried first. That one is dead on. Australian licorice. Almost. Dead on. Hopefully that doesn't offend you Irish lads. Um, and I'm going to try this. Uh, looks like a strawberry one. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Alright. This one almost tastes the same as the last one. Which I can't explain it. Something I've never had before. Just that flavor though. This is more sweeter than the brown one. It has the, uh. Ah. Uh, hmm. These aren't something that I would personally watch a movie with. Um. For me, this would be something that I would eat if I absolutely have to. Oh, man. This is the aftertaste I get you. I'm not even done yet, guys. I got two more of them. This one, that I read on there something about lemon. This one might be a lemon. Maybe. Maybe this one, I don't know. I don't know what you Irish guys are doing to me here. Guys and girls, I'm going to try this. All right. Pink one first. No flavor. Just, Just kidding. kidding. There it is. Okay. That was a little rougher. Mmm. That one is textured. It did not just fall apart. There's some chewiness to this one. Big time. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. That's good. You guys got some powerful licorice. I really like that. But it's like, it's not something that I would literally watch over an entire movie and snack on. It's not one of those type of things. No offense. It's, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Alright, this one's the yellow final one for licorice. I got more guys of different stuff. Here's the yellow one. Hmm. That's 
different, but all right. Yeah, that one was more mellow. That one didn't really have much of a flavor to it to me. Okay, yeah. I mean, it didn't really have much of a flavor. It might be because of the rest of the other licorice that I tried, or other snacks that I tried here. The licorice, all sorts, may have impacted the flavor to the other ones. Um, all right, what do I got next here? Oh, dear heavens. All right, this one is Rides or Raids of Cat Caithness? Caithness? Scotland. Baked treats made with the finest ingredients of the elbow. It's a vanilla and walnut shortbread. Okay. And it's a nice looking thing. This looks like something in America that we would that we would uh, sell on Halloween. Literally. It looks good. Okay, well. They said where they're from. Handmade with love from raids. Raids, rides, reads. I'm sorry, I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm American. If it's pronounced differently, I don't want to offend you guys. This one's freshly brand new. Okay. The smell of that is... Okay, so these are kind of partially broken. Which is good. I'm going to take a big piece of this. So these look... These are very soft, by the way. They're very soft. I don't know if I can... Uh, I don't know why my camera won't focus. It's almost, almost like, like a sugar, sugar cookie, cookie to me. It's a very, very soft sugar cookie. Um, to me. That's what it smells like. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. That tastes familiar. Okay, so we get these, uh, that's familiar. That is not too far off from an American type flavor. I actually love that. I would literally relax to these. These are good. Um, so we have like every Christmas season time. Uh, usually it's all year round sometimes. A lot of our stores in America have like these cookie, these cookie containers of cookies and they're like usually blue or red or something and they're circular a little flat and they have like these these tan cookies that you can get or like sugar cookies or plain but you know like some of them are decorated with sugar on them and they're in like these little white uh what looks like cupcake holders but they're not cupcake holders americans you guys know what i'm talking about maybe some of the people from outside of the country that know what i'm talking about here it would be great to know if i had my thing working here improperly I'd be able to pull it up picture up here for you guys and that tastes just like it and I like it that's very that's a very familiar taste um but I've never you know that in particular snack is very very good I like that okay here we go next one okay Jacob's Twiglets High in fiber, oven baked, not fried. Alright, this one is from uh, the Netherlands. Male UK, Europe, outside UK. So somewhere around you guys, the Netherlands, UK, maybe you guys are all the same. I hope you're, I hope, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. Uh, I don't want to offend anybody. This seems, seems like, like it's from. They really look, look like this. this. Okay. Um, almost <laughs> looks like pizza sticks. Literally. Uh, they look good. Okay. 1.1 gram of salt. Interesting. Very high energy. 57 grams of carbs. Okay. Hmm. Barley, whole wheat. Okay, this is something I might actually like. Play reading about it. All right. I'm pretty impressed so far by what I've gotten. Holy shit. Uh, smell of them? Literally smells like, uh... Okay. I don't know how I'm 
good I can get this to focus, but it literally looks like a lighter color of what I would call a pretzel stick to, in America. And it smells like it was handmade, like on a pan. It doesn't smell like it was oven baked. It literally smells like it was handmade on a pan. Like something was burned up. Okay. Oh boy. Dude, there's a little spice to that. It just disintegrates. That's a very quick flavor rush. But it just dis disintegrates immediately. A little bit. I'm gonna try again. I guess I got more of the stuff on it. Salty. A little bit. But. There's a, there's pepper to it too. There's a pepper. I can feel a little tiny bite of pepper, like some spice. Honestly, I would definitely come back to these. Definitely, this is something I would definitely enjoy. They're uh, really good. Eighty percent whole grain. Okay, I noticed it says like of an adult reference taken. You guys say things a little differently than I do. That's some new. So nice. I like that. I really do. I'm gonna try another one. We're almost there, guys. Holy moly! Give me a second here. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Castle cooked since 1956. Tato. Wooster or Wooster sauce? The secrets in the flavor? Looks like this. I don't know if I said that right. Wooster or Wooster? Wooster? <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Alright, um. Ulster's Countryside. Um. I'm guessing these might be like a chip. These are from, uh, boy, would you like to try some of these with me? Well, welcome to the, welcome to the club, buddy. All right, guys. Are you on Facebook? No, this will be uploaded to YouTube. And you're not live yet. You won't be live. Sorry if I'm not a shirt. Hey, you're completely fine. Uh, this is my brother Chris. You guys have seen him a few times on the thing. Where the hell is the camera? Um, so you tried the custards, the gourmies, and the licorices. You said you did not like the licorices at all. Uh, try this. This is a baked treat. Vanilla and walnut. The licorices are okay. That, I think, came from, uh, yeah, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna do that. That came from, um, I forgot where that came from. It's on the back. It's on the back. I think it was like Scotland. I think it was Scotland. Uh, usually it's down in here somewhere at the very bottom, maybe up in here. But it was, I think it was Scotland. But that doesn't taste far off. That tastes like, you know those cookies that you get in the stores, like Family Dollar and stuff like that? And they're like, they're not decorated. Scotland, yeah. They're not decorated, but like they're little sugar cookies that mom used to get us for Christmas in the little containers. It tastes, it tastes just like that, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Really, really good. Some I would come to. This one, these ones blow my mind. These are twiglets. They're from, uh, it says the UK, it says Europe, and it says the Netherlands. Now, whether they're all the same or not, I don't know. They'll correct me in the comments if they if if they're not the same. Maybe they are. Maybe, it's, maybe the UK is literally them, or maybe they're just calling Europe. I don't know. I'm an idiot when it comes to that. I didn't learn much about that. But here, these are twiglets. Now these are uh, these are almost like a uh, a very light version of uh, pretzel sticks with a bite to them. Try one. Oh, these. They're like a pretzel stick. They're from like. Is that all? Oh, the camera's right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is my brother. Whoa. Good. Good, maybe, maybe not. If they're not good, that's okay. Your reaction is genuine. 
reaction is perfect. Oh, Whether you like it or not, I like them, but it doesn't dance. Them. They're different. Very different. Um, different they got a bite to them, though. It's like, it's like United Kingdom. Kingdom. It's, it's like they're good. It's like they're good. They got a bite. They got a salt to them. They got a bite. And then there's a, there's a little bit of a pepper burn. A little tiny burn of pepper. And then it's, it's weird. These were oven baked, apparently. So those were the Jacobs. Now, this one I'm getting ready to try is tail. I don't know where these are from. Oh, uh, shades again. Because this is not telling me. Luster's, Luster's, uh, uh, it says, it says Tandrigi Arma, Tato Castle, wherever that is. I, I want to say, castle-wise, I want to say this has got to be Ireland? Maybe? It, it, it doesn't tell me on here where it's from. It just says the castle. So, the boys, we're going to try this. Boys, girls. Honestly, I like the smell of that. Like body piper. Oh, that's what it looks like. 
Guys, this is what it looks like. Literally looks like a, a it from? Scottish coat. Is this is from Scotland apparently? It's a chocolate chip shortbread. From Scotland? Shortbread would be like a cookie to us, I think. Obviously. Yeah, it's definitely from Scotland. They're making it very sure that it's Scottish. So this is good. It smells alright. I always smell it first, I don't know why. There's one cookie. Why do you want to smell chocolate? Oh, look at that though. Look at that though. Is it a cookie? That is nice. That is literally like a normal chocolate chip cookie. What would it look like? Mm hmm. You good? Yeah. That is better. So far. This is the best chocolate chip flatbread or flatbread why did I say it that way shortbread <laughs> I'm so sorry flatbread that is the best cookie that's an insult <laughs> slash shortbread that I've ever had that far out does American chocolate chip cookies dude what do you think you think so man Scotland you guys are on fire I love it mm-hmm Six minutes. We're going on 37. Alright, now I know you gave Little Man uh, one of these. These are from Cloetta? Holland. UK, Netherlands. These are called Chewits. Fruit salad flavor. Uh, so they were already uh, gotten into. He doesn't even tell you. Uh, he gave well. my nephew some, one of these, or two of these. And he absolutely loves them. He's about, what, four years old? Christian, yeah, my boy. They literally look like Starburst. And ours. Here. Now, from what I'm learning, I'm guessing the UK um, and the US are not that far off as far as texture and uh, decorative foods and snacks. From what I'm learning, just uh, they're different packaged, but they almost look the same. You know what I mean? What's that? It's like a, I think it's like a chocolate or something, but uh -oh. I can't even tell. Uh... Whoa! Now this is white. Pause on that. It came in a yellow wrapper, almost like a starburst. Where is? Hmm. Where is that? I can't even identify where that's from. Try to chew it. I think oh yeah. Own, maybe their own version of starburst. Mm-hmm. But most likely. That tastes like a Laffy Taffy. Just more softer. Isn't that what Starbursts kind of are? Like Laffy Taffies, or are they different? Kind of. Laffy Taffies are very, very hard to bite through and they're very chewy. This is good. Damn, that beats American stuff. American version of this is more weaker. From, where is this from? The UK, United Kingdom, hmm. apparently. United Kingdom. Yeah, man, they're good. Okay, you cannot eat that. Cause that is chocolate, you silly goose. Okay. Uh, well, let me see what else. We oh yeah, you said you found this. It's called Fox's Classic Original. <clears throat> this is from where? Uh, you didn't know. Okay, guys, uh, <coughs> so we got one here. I am not sure where this is from, but it looks like this. If you know where it's from, please tell me. We would love to know. We're about to try it. Hopefully it's good, as some of these are. Some are good. The licorice I'm not fond of, and you said the, uh, the twiglets you weren't very fond of, right? Not really. Yeah, okay. they're very different. I didn't. I didn't say I didn't like them. I just said they're just oh, very different. They're very different. Yeah, yeah. They're like they're, I think they're, they're like different. There's something that I would sit and watch a movie with, right? 
Wouldn't you snack on them while watching a movie or not really? You would try something else. Um, I mean, you could. There's just one problem this. It is chocolate and it is kind of melting. You can eat it. You eat that one. Hmm? You eat that one. Either way, the melting, it doesn't have to melt. You'll still taste it. Hmm. That's good. I can't describe that. I really can't. It's got a wafer to it. And it's crunchy as hell. But it's got like a vanilla cream to it. You know like the cream you would get in vanilla cookies? It's usually spread in the middle. It's got that to it. It's a cat. What is she doing? Are they really gonna fight on camera? Yeah. Come on guys. We're you, on camera. you people wanna see what we deal with here. Look behind me. So I got a pissed off cat. <laughs> and right <laughs> over here is another one behind me. Right there is the little instigator. Her ears are back. She is mad. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, and. Upped it. Yep, they sure did. I'm back. I set my camera down and disconnected it. Great. Anyway, that's good, by the way. Um, I wish you would have tried that one. Actually, you already did. Um, these damn cats. I swear, you guys need to stop being a pain. Okay, well, we got some... Okay, these ones are hard, hard candies. Why do they hate each other? I don't know. All right, the rest of what we got. They're the same breed. Huh? They're the same breed. I don't think so. She's a tabby. She Ladies is. and gentlemen. She is too. I'm going to try carefully. Carefully. Is she a tabby? Her name is Paws. The cat behind me, the little tiny one with the flat ass ears. Her name is Kellen. I also got a fat Himalayan that weighs 45 pounds. His name is Frankie, and then I have one uh, named Foggy, who's a little tiny gray uh, Siamese cat, because he has a skinny tail, so Siamese. Okay, here you go, Chris. This one's a glucose barley. Outfield sense something. I do not know where it's from, and then the other one, I'm going to have a problem with. Fox's Glacier Mints. Clearly a better mint. <laughs> Alright boys. So, so we got an outfield. Uh, I wish this is a glucose barley. Here. What is it? I don't know. I got the same one. I'm not sure what it is. Never seen it before. I want to say this might be from the UK. Okay, it looks almost like a cough drop. <laughs> it almost looks like a cough drop. No, no smell to it. Unknown. Oh, mhm. Mm okay, that one just doesn't bite. That's a flavor I haven't had before. Is it a cough drop? No. You know what? It tastes like a very light version of butterscotch. Huh? Uh-huh. So we're just gonna stand here. <laughs> That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all.
can have the rest of them. Are you gonna want to try the mint or no? You're gonna make me try it. The mint? Yeah. Where? You're gonna make me try the mint. Unlike the last time you had me try a mint, that was not good. Yeah, keep laughing. That was nasty. It really was. It was nasty. That was funny, man. It was, but my god. And that was what? That one was from where? Scotland? I think so. It was from Scotland. Yeah, there was one earlier. I, I have to. I have to be honest. I forgot about that. There was a bar that we had. I can't remember what it was. It was. A, it was very nice. It was like a royal something, but it was. It looked like a clear chunk of ice, literally, and you couldn't break it. You literally couldn't break it. We had to like. We couldn't just snap it in half. It was that hard. So we broke it, and my god, the mint to it was insane. You laughed about it, because I just woke up, just woke up, and had to eat that. Um, the gummies. Custard creams. You're not going to bother the other chat. Okay, well, I hope you're ready to laugh. Andrew, Andrew Paws is going to get her ass kicked. Not again. <laughs> Are they really going to do this again? They're going to tangle again. Alright, Chris, here we go. Alright, well, he went out the other room. And now... Glacier Mints, clearly a better mint. So these people think that their peppermints are better than ours. And it looks like this. It's got Where a, are these from? This is a polar bear, by the way, on here. There's a polar bear, and it says foxes. Same people that made that chocolate bar. Not sure where you're from. Don't. Again, please tell me. Hey, if they beat each other up, it's fine. Okay, this actually looks like a chunk of... What the hell? She is mad. This is different. That's clear. Crystal clear. Literally, it looks like I'm going to bite into a crystal rock. Dude, look at this. It looks like I'm going to bite into a crystal rock. They said this is a mint. Sure it's not crack? <laughs> it might be crack. <laughs> Honestly? Okay, here we go. Pretty good crack? Just being a smart ass. I'm gonna have to think about this one. I like mint, but if it's way too minty, I don't like it. It has to be perfectly precise on a certain level of mint. This is like a sweet version of a candy cane. Huh. Think of a candy cane with a sugary taste to it. I don't usually eat chips, but... Like a very nice, sweet sugar taste. I'm Literally. wondering if they're really going to watch this video all the way through. I want to take a guess. Foxes. With the, with the... With you guys being better than us. I want to say, hmm, I'm thinking it's either, it's either Ireland or Scotland. Get her done. Pause, no. <laughs> I want to say it's Ireland. That's all I got for you guys. Well, uh, yeah, again, idiot. <laughs> if anybody wants... Like I said, just go on uh, <laughs> WorldWideTreats.com and uh, definitely go check them out. If you're not from here and you guys are from somewhere around the world, wow, you bite into that and holy shit. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure these guys can send you American snacks, I'm sure. Um... Yeah, worldwide snack. Like worldwide, worldwide treats. You guys did great. Also, Whoever made the Worcester sauce? Huh? I like these ones. I wonder if I can get bags of those, like a box of them. 
You might be able to. I don't know where they're from, though. I think you said Ireland, right? I think you said Ireland. It was like the UK or Ireland. Ireland? Ireland? I don't know. I don't know how they say it. It's from our mag. Uh, but yeah, it's thank you guys. It's from our mag. Huh? Our, our mag. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video. Say goodbye, Chris. Bye-bye.